Okay. It is day 12. And it turns out that the um, pain meds that I've been on were creating me to get sick to my stomach. So for the past two days, the latter part of the day and into the evening, that wasn't fun. I don't like throwing up. That's one of my least favorite things to do. <laughs> but I had to deal with that. Luckily, Tony, my dear friend, and Matthew were here the whole time and they like just bam, they were right there holding my hair, holding me. <laughs> it was very, very loved. I was very loved. It, but what a sucky thing to have to feel. So this morning, Matthew and I went to um, the Angelus Clinic. It's uh, down off of Wilshire in the 405. Quite a facility, I have to say. We're trying to get um, into a clinical trial. Pretty hopeful, the doctor, Dr. Chu. Um, super knowledgeable, super, uh, I think we're gonna get along well. Um, he was discussing the different kinds of treatments and the different kinds of chemo. Ugh, can't believe I'm even talking about this. Shoot. It was so real today, it sucked. Anyway, um, you know, his frame of mind is not to put me on the most powerful <laughs> intense drug. And I'm like, thank you. Cause that will kick my butt. I know it will. And I'm just, I'm just sensitive to all drugs, apparently. So, oh, Vaughn's here. Yay, me. Are you hi, filming? Baby. I'm filming. Come and say hi. Hi, camera. <laughs> My hair's all crazy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you keep filming. Okay. So, anyway, um, it was very real today. Um, I'm in what's called a first line. Um, second line is better regarding clinical trials because that means that you've already you've already begun treatment and you can get right into the next treatment that comes up. But I'm first line, which means I haven't started anything, so I really kind of have to wait and see if they'll accept me. So um, honestly, my brain shut down. I did not retain information, but that's why we're supposed to have somebody with us. That would be Matthew today, probably for always. <laughs> he, um, he has it all. He's, he was taking notes. Christina was on the line. The doctor was answering both their questions simultaneously. And I just sat there with my eyes glazed and watered. Yeah, damn, I'm still so in shock that this is happening. <laughs> Me, I mean, I feel badly for anybody that gets this, but holy moly, when it happens to you, it's like, that's impossible. I'm so healthy, I'm so healthy. Apparently not. But, like I keep saying, my silver linings, <clears throat> I have never been closer to my family and friends ever. <sighs> so that's quite lovely. And I know I'm getting a lot of love and support from all you out there that I don't even know who's watching this now. But I know you can all see the pain and probably feel it in some way. I'm sure people know others that are going through this. And maybe this is just giving people an opportunity to relate a little bit more on a human side. Um, I can't wait to get my next uh, pain. It's a patch, it's a pain patch. 
little scared because they say it can, you know, cause whatever. It's, it's an um, opioid. Great. Let's see how that seals with my system. Might cause a little nausea and uh, what, whatever. I don't even know anymore. But they also said that I need um, enzymes, but a specific kind of enzyme because my pancreas is not, can't do it. Can't do it anymore. And that's why I can't eat. Speaking of which, I'm so sorry, excuse me. Um, when I do eat, it's like, I'm starving and I just start, oh, two, three, four bites. And then it's like, oh no, oh no, this feels horrible because it's like up to here. And and I just keep swallowing, you know, salivating. And it's just, it's horrible. It just, it it's not digesting. So it's sitting there waiting for digestion to take place. And it can't because my pancreas is done. It's just done. Saw the CT scans today. That was gross. <laughs> um, they're like, yeah, I see all the shadow. That's cancer. Great. Um, I saw it in my liver. Um, it looked like there were only three lesions. Who knows what the size was? You know, I want to say tip my finger maybe do, 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 on the top. But I really don't know what I'm looking at yet. So it's a blur. But pancreas. Yeah, she's in bad shape. And it possibly has not gotten into my stomach, colon, spleen, but it's, it's holding on to all of them, if that makes any sense. This is my way of telling you what's happening. It's spreading, it's trying to get in, but right now she's like gripping all of them and that's why the pain, that's why I get that sharp needle pain. It's doing its best to work its way in. But, um, you know, we're told that nowadays uh, treatments really have come a long way. And um, used to be back in the day when you got pancreatic cancer and it metastasized nothing you could do about it so at least now there are options and I'll fill you in on those options as I know more Matthew's putting together something called um what's it called a caring bridge caring bridge yeah the caring bridge and that's for all the documents all the that kind of medical information is going to be filed away um it'll be open to whomever um, I'm staying clear from all that. I'm, it just freaks me out. <laughs> right now, the less I really know of all the details, the better I feel. And I'm going to keep it that way. I just want to be with my family and my friends. Think about good things. And I'm glad my son's here. Where are you? What? <laughs> He avoids cameras <laughs> like the plague, but I'll get him in here. Um, that's it for now. I'll be back. Um, I'm hoping to feel better. I don't feel horrible. I did feel horrible earlier, but I took these enzymes that I've already had here. And it. Uh, I feel like the food's digesting. So because I can't get the, the, the new prescription of enzymes... A thousand dollars for a bottle. Yeah. Thanks, pharmaceutical industry. Seriously. And they're out of them right now. So we asked for a, like a different brand or something equivalent. So we'll see. <laughs> Come on. That's ridiculous. That's going to be like two grand a month. Whatever. It's just, it's just so... Our healthcare system is really bad it's really bad and i know a lot of you know this i'm just learning i knew it was bad but you know when you're in the midst of the big bad stuff mm -hmm, that's when you really find out how bad it is so all right on that note because i'm rambling again uh i'll talk to y'all later bye <laughs> i love you i love me Mwah.